All right, got some mullet. Got some mullet, putting them in my redesigned live well, like I showed. Now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna, whoa, one just jumped out. Oh, one just jumped out. Here, let me get him. Now what I'm gonna do, is I went and got crazy, and I put another one over here. I put another hole, and I got two plugs, so hopefully, see this aerated water can go back and forth now. This is an experiment. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to juice up the oxygen. All right. Let me, I gotta kinda look at it. You never know, I never know which direction I'm going. Yeah, there's more oxygen. Now, the whole objective is these two through holes here, and I took the plugs out. I don't really like these plugs that much because they got this big wing nut here, but they're 100% stainless steel and they don't corrode. Hopefully, this oxygenated water will pass through over here to the shrimp as the boat kind of sloshes around here. And I'm not only gonna have oxygen from my Maletskis, but for my shrimpetskis. What do you think? Cool. Okay. Awesome. Got Dennis with me this morning. Hello, folks. <laughs> so, there we go. So, we got our moletskis, and now with the, now we did go fishetskis. <laughs> Let's do some fishetskis. There you go. All right. One net throw. One net. But. You had to wait for them. I was, I had to be like, I had to be like a blue heron. I had to be like this. <laughs> I had to wait around. Might get a couple more because it's it's yeah. always good to be greedy. Yeah. When you're catching Maletskis. All right, first fish, first mullet, and it feels like a toad. Feels like some shit fish. <laughs> and it's a toadorama. Yeah, that's that's the real reason I like using mullet. <laughs> Your mother-in-law, just wonderful. Because this doesn't have zoom, you're not going to see it. But see that sign? And there's, it says something, private property, whatever. There's that sign right there on that piling, right there. Right on the very inside, there is a fish that keeps coming up on the inside of them pilings and splashing. I think it's a sheep's head or something, and he's, gnaw, he's gnawing on the on the pilings or something right in there right in there there he is there he is i can see him right now his fins coming up again <laughs> i can see him he keeps coming up right there and he's just right there on that spot funny me and dennis are sitting here looking at him like do you see that fish i know you can't see them because unfortunately this is my hero four sessions it has zero zoom no nothing i have has zoom but i wish you could see that all righty mangrove snapper good keeper size done swallowed it these used to be i mean these are an invasive species for us basically because 30 years ago 40 years ago i don't really think they were in this river you know i talked to some of the old salts they don't remember these things being as as thick and kind of invasive until they get this big and then we like them <laughs> Jeff the magic wands are they got a bull red on all right now how many cameras does it take to get a bull red to the boat <laughs> hey turn it this way a little bit all right there we go I have no zoom all right appreciate it Hey, cameraman, we're on. First fish on a crab in like years. Hooked up! Is it running? It's up there. It's up there. It's up there. All right. Okay, we're hooked up. Hey, thanks, James. They're blue crab. Show them blue crab. Yeah, man. 
Okay. Hooked up on a Brutus T. Okay. You might want to. Here, give me the camera. Okay. Ryoga doing the job on a Brutus T. Red Bass. Come on. Okay, I'm dedicating this one to Orowalk. Orowalk, this is for you, brother. We haven't done much of anything, so we decided to jo join the crowds and catching the Brutus T red bass. Alright. We're not being very uh we're not being very prepared here. Alright, rod cam. Rod cam. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Rod cam. Now, I preach this every single year that this pole. See this grabber pole? That Dennis has? That's a reach out and touch me boga grip type thing. See what that does? Alright, here he comes. See, they don't fight that hard. Yeah, they're coming down river, that's why. They're nice and orange. Now you're gonna lip latch them. Alright. Lip latch them. There you go, you got him now. Alright. Alright, there he is. Jizzing all over the boat. Ah, he went all over your rod. Ah. He's like, it's a serious coitus interruptus. You know, and everybody, I had some, I had some smart ass give me some rash of shit. You know, most Americans give you rash of shit on YouTube. Not the foreign people from foreign lands are very nice. But he gave me a rash of shit because I never test what I talk about. And here is, let me get the pliers. Here is my uh, true turn hook. And I showed the guy. I said, I did do follow ups. I do follow ups while I'm out fishing. He's like, oh, well, you did a true turn hook review, but you certainly never talked about it. And there it is right there. That's what I use for the big old bull reds. So, all right, here you go, Dennis. Okay. okay. Now, let's see how much this one weighs. Nothing. Okay, I'm dedicating this to Orowalk. Top subscriber. Okay. Ooh, I see he's milking you now. Yep. Oh! Oh! 32 pounds. Oh my God, do we got cleanup to do. All right. 32 pound Mr. Blue Redfish. Here he goes. Gone. Oh my God. Look. <laughs> Look. <laughs> yeah, he's laughing at me a minute ago. Yeah, he's laughing now. <laughs> 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 All right. Hey, Orwalk. <laughs> I bet your stripers don't do that to your boat, huh? Oh my God, we got clean up to do now. The El Coqui. El Coqui from Crale Marine. All right, we're all cleaned up, sort of here. I got a little left on the floor. Yeah. All right, let's get some water. Dave's salt water wash down. Guess what? This pump never breaks, especially when God dang rubber ass bucket. <laughs> it never breaks. You got it all over your rod. Did you wipe it off? You know when it dries off, you know what it's like? It becomes like concrete. It comes like JB Weld. We actually came out here with all the intentions of catching nothing but food fish, not this. But believe it or not, we got all those mullet from this morning. Still got them in here. 
Got all these mullet, and guess what we were catching? Toads. Toadfish on our mullet. Toadfish. You know, when you're catching toadfish, it's because there's nothing else down there. Toadfish and jacks, that's what we caught. So. All right, well, I usually don't do very good on crab just because I don't have enough crabs. I mean, you got to come out here with some serious crabs half the time. Come out here with two, three crabs, you're pissing in the wind. I just got lucky there. That was the second piece of crab down. That's all it was. Got something? No? Yeah, I think so. All right, so it'll be Dennis's. He'll be up next to get his shoes all covered in you know what. Uh. Woo! <laughs> ah! I guess it's just my lucky crab day, isn't it? This dude was eating my bait for 10 minutes. Mr. Crabby. <laughs> I, I, didn't want, I didn't even want to catch one. If this one, this one better not do its thing all over my boat. I'm holding them over the side. I'm holding them over the side. I'm not letting them do it all over the boat again. I don't know why you put that grabber away. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, here we go. This one's a. Uh, let's see. What other subscriber should I dedicate this one to? Because he called me earlier and I couldn't talk to him, we're going to dedicate this redfish to New Vision Security Systems. Because he called me earlier. Yep. Sorry, I couldn't talk to you. We were kind of busy. <laughs> Old Blake called me from Savannah, Georgia. Or he was on the road and he called me from who the hell knows where else. There he is. He's going to be right here. I said, uh, who let them dogs out? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. This one feels as big as the last one? Oh, yeah. They're all going to be the same. Yeah. These are the original who let them dogs out. Yeah. They're a junk junkyard dog. Brutus T. Red Bass. He's a junkyard dog. <laughs> I think he's going to the other side of the boat. Okay, this is dedicated to Blake. This one's for you, brother. Get ready. Okay. Get ready, cameraman. Here, you want me to even do that? Yeah, you can if you want. Okay, cameraman. Okay, new vision security system. This is for you. All right. I'll hold the camera. Dennis is going to do the lip gripper pull. The pull cam. I can hear him drumming his butt off. Okay, there's his lip. Go for it, go for it, go for it. We'll let the pro land this fish. Right. Okay. If he's gonna do his thing all over the place, then he ain't he ain't visiting the jetty wolf. <laughs> Yeah, he ain't doing nothing. He ain't doing nothing? Yeah. Nothing yet. Alright. Well. Ooh, that hook is a little down there, so I think I might let him have it. Yeah. Alright, so there we go. Real quick. I don't think this one is as big as the other one. Nah, not quite. This one, he's probably about 25. That other one was, I think, what is 32, yeah. 30, 32, 30 yeah. plus. He was smashing down the booger grip is all I know. All right. So, hopefully I can just turbo mat this guy. And he's gone! Yeah, he is. All right. He, he was.
was right there and now he's gone okay i think i'm gonna fish with a dead shrimp and let dennis have the rest of these crabs you think that's a good deal yeah we Mr. Wobbly Feet. <laughs> he's, he's a weevil. He's a wobble. But he don't fall down. What do you What do you got over there? I got uh, I got a uh, all I'm on. If you haven't got the uh, crab. Okay. And I'm fishing a dead shrimp because I want Dennis to use up the crabs and get a bull red. I'm using a shrimp to see if I can catch whiting or something better. Something to go fish fry material, you know what I mean? Come on. Oh my god, Dennis. Dennis didn't even know he had one on. His crab hit the bottom. His, his crab hit the bottom. And it was instantly hooked up. And he didn't even know he had one on. <laughs> He's on. Game on. walked away from it. Yeah. He thought he bit, he thought he licked the crab and walked away. Where do you get another one on that run over there? On the other side of the boat. Get on them! Who let them dogs out? Put some bend in that rod. Dennis is going down. Where are you going? Tomorrow? Uh, Tampa. He's going to Tampa and going on, what is it called? Hubbard's Marine. Hub hour night Hubbard's Marina. 12 hour mangrove snapper trip. So he better get these arms in shape. Is that tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. There he goes. Whoa, hang on. It's a nut. Nut. Well, nothing to do with that. Okay, who are we going to dedicate this one to? Uh. Let's see, one of my guys, let's see. We'll dedicate this one to Mellow Reel. This one's for you. So, this one's for you, Mellow Reel. All my regular chit-chatters. I'm not forgetting the rest of you, but I don't know if we're gonna catch enough. We'll have to see. Why is this rod going in, in front of the boat? You reeled it in, but I think my anchor's slipping. My anchor's slipping. All right, I better check the line. My anchor was slipping. So I had to pull it up while Dennis has got this fish on. And we're heading into all the other boats. My anchor tripped. No, it's not. It's not so big that we can't get them. Oh no, it's not a whale. Get on him. There he is. That's a small one, man. That's a multi spotter. Okay, I'm gonna drive away a little bit. So you just hold him in the water. The grabber cam. Grabber camera. All right, here we go. Go backwards. Woo! Oh, we caught up. All right, grab her cam. Grab her cam. Is he jizzing? Oh gosh, he's going. He's doing it all over the place. All right. We're gonna cut this, because he swallowed it. All right, Dennis finally got one. A multi-spotter. Yeah, he's got a lot of spots, don't he? All right, I'll just let him go real quick. Yeah, he's peeing everywhere he's now. He's doing his thing all over the place. Hi, Nora. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing, well.
<laughs> I'm driving over you. Huh? <laughs> While I'm driving over them. <laughs> All right, that was a bit of a nightmare here because the anchor let go and we got all these other boats here. Yeah, the anchor picked a fine time. Yeah, I know. It always does, doesn't it? Yeah. You can always tell your anchor ain't holding when your lines are going to the bow. <laughs> okay, folks, what we're gonna do here is we're showing Dennis with like an organized tangle. He's tying on a new rig. <laughs> And he was trying some super polymer uh, bass fishing knot. <laughs> Here. Here, you just need to cut that whole shoot match and let me tie on something for you. Look at this. Look, 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 look. What the hell is that? <laughs> okay, that's our comic relief for today, folks. We're up to eight ounces. The current is ripping, and I don't know if we're going to get another one or not. But we're trying to get Dennis out there so I can dedicate one more bull redfish to a subscriber slash commenter. We're up to eight ounces, and everybody's leaving because this current is smoking. Look at look at this behind my boat. Can you see that current? Probably not. Ripping. Eight ounces is barely holding. Okay, did you cut all that crap? Okay, let me tie it on. Okay. Get, yeah, get all that crap out of there. Let's. We could have caught could have caught four red bass by now. <laughs> and so we gotta have some kind of comedy out here. He thinks he's a badass. He ain't gonna be such a badass. Oh yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Y'all think y'all a badass until I take them claws right off of you, boy. Alright, let's show here. You hold the camera. Let's show everybody how Yeah, this is how I prep my crab. Okay, we only got one crab left, as you can see. So, got to get rid of the weapons. So I fold this weapon in, pop this weapon out. Gotta get rid of the weapons. Get rid of the weapons. Okay, and then all we do is we. Pop his top, let all that good schmutzy smell out. Now you can either cut him this way, like this, all right? That's what makes them wash out in this current. That's the reason they last minutes. Now you can get another, you can kind of do this too. baby down and that means we got three that we can have wash out here in the next two seconds eight ounces is getting hard to hit the bottom right now that current is ripping all right we got another one on while my anchor is stuck we're waiting for the tide to slow down last piece of crab 
my anchor stuck so we were just sitting here and I need I need lower current and less wind it's blowing like 20 knots now and Dennis is on one just prior this is the last piece of crab that we got just prior I picked up the rod just to check it somebody slam dunked me and broke me off when I was checking the rod so we're using Dennis's rod and reels since uh, he might he might swap me these to something else <laughs> but he's got a big old bull red on come on hopefully uh, we're gonna get my anchor back because it's like really stuck and we got a big friend coming in front of us this is gonna be the real this is a real test right here because you got to fight him so much in this heavy current. Eight ounce sinker was barely holding. That's the wonderful St. John's River. Eight ounce sinkers in 36 feet of water. Uh-huh. Okay. And I guarantee when we get this one to the boat, he is going to be slap wore out against this current. So you don't have to yank and crank on them, people. I get customers all the time that are yanking and cranking on these fish. See how Dennis is just buttering them to the boat? This is what I call buttering them to the boat. Nothing fancy here. Nothing fancy. Just ease them in. Everybody treats them like they're a god dang, you know, grouper or something that's going to rock you up. Now they can break you off, because in the bottom. Those drags are a little sticky there, Dennis, I noticed. Yeah. Them reels need to be taken apart and them drags get cleaned up a little bit, but the old Triton will do the job. Yeah. Oh, look what we got here, the Saga Welco. Uh-huh. This is what we got to put up with, folks. Sometimes these guys go by and they display so much current that they'll change the current direction in the St. John's River. Not now, because it's smoking. All right, well, I'm going to have to get ready for the old uh, lipper grabber pole. See, I keep it up here. Got these on my Amazon Tools and Trade page. I don't know if anybody ever pays attention, but netting a big red is a pain in the butt. You gotta have a big net. I do it all the time with small nets. But I found this on Amazon, and it's a great, great tool. Amazon Tools of the Trade page. It's always in the video description on my on my videos. Yes, that is a shameless plug to try to make five cents from Amazon. All right, where is he at? Where is he at? He's gonna be on the outside. We're taking him on the outside. All right, lippers ready? You see what that means? It's just like a boger grip, folks. You know what a boger grip is? Feel that? You squeeze this lever up here by the handle on the other end. Grab him. See right here that back and it moves that lever and I grease that or I keep it oiled. Alright, you letting them dogs out Dennis? Yeah. Dennis let the dogs out. <clears throat> Dennis let the dogs out. He's going to want to draft in that current. Okay, I hope this one doesn't do his little business all over the boat again. Okay. Steer him out, steer him out, steer him out. Come here, Brutus T. Junkyard dog. Okay, I got him, but I don't really got him. So, I'm gonna go for a, a gill latch, too. So I got him, but I don't got him. Oh, oh, there he goes, there's a lot He's going 
going into the death spiral. Ugh. Yes, that's what this current is all about. A giant pain in the rear end. Another 25 pounder. There you go, guys. All right. will do that up in the bow we're hutched into something man i gotta do all kinds of jerking around and get my god dang anchor back and i hate it absolutely hate it especially it's blowing like 20 knots and the current's strong all right if you can hear us in between the wind we forgot on the last red that was our fourth red fish that dennis just reeled in we're back at the dock now cleaning up Got my anchor back, I was happy as a clam. We waited until the tide slowed down and I could pull on it and it finally popped loose. I don't know what I was caught in. But we're gonna dedicate the last red to Wall Dog. Down there in Daytona, or not Daytona, Orlando. He knows who he is. That's who we're dedicating the last bull red fish to. He's been a donator and a long time subscriber, so. That one's for you, wall dog. So that's it. All right, see you later. Sitting around the house, got nothing to do. I think I'll go fishing, scare away the blues. I'm going fishing. Late.